Hello everyone, this is Shweta, a warm welcome to the anatomy class of Snips Biology. I will come on uh, Thursday and Monday for all of you, Monday for the plant physiology class and Thursday for the plant anatomy class. So, in today's class, we are discussing the classification of mesomatic tissue. Structure and function I already shared with you all. If you haven't seen the video, then go to the Snips Biology channel for all anatomy related सारे वीडियो आप देख सकते हैं तो आज हम डिस्कशन करने वाले हैं क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मेस्टमैटिक टिश्यू अन क्लासिफ मेस्टमैटिक टिश्यू इज क्लासिफाइड मेनली ऑफ फोर टाइप्स दैट इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ओरिजिन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ पोजीशन प्लेन ऑफ डिवीजन एंड द फंक्शन ओके सो ये जो ओरिजिन वाला पार्ट है ये मैंने अपने प्रीवियस क्लास में ऑलरेडी बता चुकी हूं अगर आप नहीं देखे हैं तो इसी वीडियो पे आप कहीं पे भी क्लिक करें एक आई बटन आता है आई बटन पे जाके आप एनाटॉमी रिलेटेड सारे वीडियो देख सकते हैं ये वाला भी है उसके अंदर तो आज हम देखेंगे ये तीनों के बारे में दैट इज पोजीशन प्लेन ऑफ डिवीजन एंड फंक्शन ओरिजिन के बेसिस पे ये दो टाइप के होते हैं दैट इज प्राइमरी मिनिस्टर एंड द सेकेंडरी मिनिस्टर when we come to the position, then it is of three types that is apical meristem, intercalary, and the lateral meristem. When we come to the plane of division, it is again of three types that is mass meristem, plate meristem, and the rib, or always called as the file meristem. Then on the basis of function, it is again of three types that is protoderm, procambium, and the ground meristem. Okay, so let's discuss a detailed account of all of this. Take a screenshot of this type. This is the overall classification of meristematic tissue. So now come to the types of meristematic tissue or meristem on the basis of position. Position ke basis mein dekhenge. Position mein three types tha. First one is the apical meristem. Second one is the intercalary meristem. Third one is the lateral meristem. First come to the apical meristem. The apical meristem mainly found on the apex. Apex of root and shoot. Then what is the main function of apical meristem? Main function is increase length. The apical meristem mainly increases the length of the plant. Okay, two points are there. Then comes the intercalary meristem. It is nothing but a part of the apical meristem which separates during the shoot and root elongation. It is nothing but a part of the apical meristem. Okay, then the what is the main function of it intercalary meristem? The main function of intercalary meristem is it also increases the length of the plant. And another point it uh, point is it is mainly found in between the mature tissues. Uh, see in the diagram, this is the apical meristem, this is the intercalary, then this is the node, internode, node, leaf, and these are the lateral meristem. Draw this diagram. So, अब मैं आपको बताऊंगी ये जो intercalary meristem होता है इसके बारे में कुछ interesting facts. First one is जैसे कि हम लोग grassland होता है या grass field होता है in which the grasses which are grazed by the herbivores then the length of the grass will increase by the function of or we may say by the help of the intercalary meristem only. And तीनों important examples हैं जो कि neat exam में basically आता है. First one is it is also found in the base of leaf, base of leaf and इसका example है pinus. This question is already asked in your neat exam. Basically these points are for the neat exam. Okay. And the second example is it is also found in the base of the node. And this ka example is mint, mint plant. Then third one is it is found in the base of internode. This ka example is grasses, bamboo, etc. Okay, so this is all about intercalary meristem. 
it is a part of apical meristem main function is uh, increase the length of the plant these are some important fact uh, examples that is base of uh, leaf ke basis mein bhi paaye jate hain example hai pinus uh, node mein bhi paaye jate hain intercalary meristem example hai mint grass a uh, mint internode mein bhi paaye jate hain jiska example hai grass and bamboo okay then come to the lateral meristem as the name is lateral it is found on the lateral side of a plant body and the main function of lateral meristem is the increase in girth or width increase in girth and width and uh, for this reason they are mainly less responsible for the secondary growth of the plant then again the lateral meristem is again divided into two types that is the primary lateral meristem <coughs> and the secondary lateral meristem okay so the primary lateral uh, meristem the main example is intrafascicular cambium that is found inside in the vascular bundle and mainly responsible for the secondary growth another example is uh, the marginal meristem which is found in the leaf margin and mainly responsible for the increase of the surface of the leaf now come to the secondary lateral meristem example is interfascicular cambium curved cambium etc so this is all about the types of meristematic tissue based on position now come to the uh, types of meristematic tissue based on plane of division types of meristematic tissue are there third type that is on the basis of plane of division so now on the basis of plane of division it is again of three types first one is a uh, mass meristem second one is plate meristem third one is rib meristem or file meristem first come to the mass meristem so here in this case the plane of division is not fixed the plane of division occur in many or the division occur in many planes okay and the main examples are endosperm and embryo and it mainly increase the volume of the plant the volume of the plant एंड एग्जाम्पल पे हम लोग क्या ले, ले, ले सकते हैं दैट इज कोकोनट ओके दिस इज कोकोनट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट मास मेरिस्टेम देन कम टू द नेक्स्ट टाइप दैट इज द प्लेट मेरिस्टेम इन दिस केस द डिविजन ऑकर इज एंटी क्लिनल डिविजन एंटी क्लिनल डिविजन what do you mean by anticlinal division that means the uh, division occur right angle to the or we may say perpendicular to the surface and here the division occur in two planes okay and the example is uh, increase it increases the leaf area the main function of plate meristem is it increases the leaf area found mainly in the leaf then come to the rib or file meristem here in this case uh, the division is right angle to the longitudinal axis of the plant okay and in this case the division occur in only one plane mark the difference here it is many plane here it is two plane and in this case it is one plane and this type of meristem examples of this type of meristem are the cortex uh, the petiole and the pith the shoot root etc okay so this is all about the types of meristematic tissue on the basis of division अगर आपको मेरा वीडियो अच्छा लग रहा है तो लाइक बटन दबाना बिल्कुल भी मत भूलिएगा वीडियो कैसा लगा है कमेंट बॉक्स पे जाके कमेंट भी करना बिल्कुल भी मत भूलिएगा ठीक है देन कम टू द 
a fourth type of uh, classification of meristematic tissue that is on the basis of function. on the basis of function. Then on the basis of function, it is again of three types. That is, first one is protoderm. Second one is procambium. Third one is ground meristem. Come to the first one, that is the protoderm. It mainly function, the main function of protoderm is the formation of epidermis. Epidermis part. Okay, the outer region. Then come to the procambium. The procambium mainly uh, function to form the primary xylem and phloem. See, this is a structure of vascular bundle, a part of vascular bundle. This is the Cambium part, dicot, uh, in dicot it found, then this is the primary phloem and this is the primary xylem. Okay. So the procambium mainly function to form the primary phloem and the primary xylem. Then come to the third type that is ground meristem. It mainly forms the hypodermis. Then uh, the endodermis part, pericycle, then uh, peat, peat rays, and general cortex. Okay, so the ground meristem, these all uh, reason are formed the overall view of the classification of mesthematic tissue. So, video kaisa laga? Comment karke zarur bataiega. If you like my video, then give a thumbs up and share with your friends. Click on the subscription button and press the bell icon so that you will get more updates. We are in social networks also in Facebook and Insta pages. Links are given in the description box. Go to the description, click on the links. Thank you. Have a good day.